Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology's Remedies Playlist. And we have discussed the remedies for Sun, Moon, Venus, and Jupiter. And today we are going to start with a malefic. All right, so Mercury is remaining among the list of the benefics. We will do Mercury the next. And today is Mars. So I have made uh, a list of nine remedies because uh, in numerology, nine is the number for Mars. And therefore, today we shall discuss uh, these remedies. And the question is, uh, somebody asked me, uh, who can do these remedies? One who has a debilitated Mars or an exalted Mars or a Mars in Digbala or in Ascendant or if you are Mangli, the answer is all of you can do these remedies. These remedies will help you at a physical level, mental level, spiritual level, psychological, emotional from overall uh, perspective of your life, these remedies will really help you to become a better individual inside and strengthen your Martian qualities, Martian traits. Okay? And because Mars is a natural uh, malefic, uh, therefore, most of the things related to the remedies of Mars are related to abstaining from certain things. Okay, So for Jupiter, as I said, uh, you have to do a lot of things. So for Rahu, uh, remedies are like you have to act, abstain from certain things. Okay, Similar, it's for Mars. But there are some other things which you should also do along with abstaining. Okay, So for Malefics, the list of do's is a bit less uh, and the list of don'ts is a bit more. <laughs> okay, so therefore, but uh, in this, I have tried to combine both the do's and don'ts. All right. And if you have not watched the other remedy videos, then please watch it in this playlist. You will find it or I'll put it in the end of the uh, video. Okay. And yes, if you want a consultation from me regarding your planets and any specific remedy pertaining to your horoscope, you can always go to my website down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And if you like this video, please kick the thumbs up and share it with somebody who feels they don't have a very good Mars. Okay. So Mars rules the sign of Aries and Scorpio and he gets exalted in Capricorn and he gets debilitated in the sign of Cancer. Okay. So what is the first remedy which we must do for Mars? And this is the most important and the number one remedy. If you don't do this and you do everything else, it's of no use. Okay. So first remedy for Mars is you must study about Lord Narsimha Dev. Narsimha Dev is one of the <coughs> avatars, incarnations of Lord Vishnu uh, who came in this world as a half man and a half lion. Uh, Vishnu took that form so that he could uh, kill this demon Hiranyakashyabu because he was tormenting uh, the great Prahlad Maharaj who was the son of Hiranyakashyabu of course. And then, uh, therefore, where will you find contents from this? You can find uh, in the seventh canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay, you can type seventh canto Srimad Bhagavatam uh, in Google, you will get references so you can uh, study there. Okay, Hiranya Kashyapu Prahlad and Lord Narsingha Dev because he represents all the traits of Mars okay? and much more, of course, all the planets, but specifically Mars. He's the uh, avatar and we must study about him and we must see uh, what, what is Mars basically. Mars represents the tra trait of protecting somebody. So he protected Prahlad Maharaj. Of course, every Vishnu avatar does that, but specifically this incarnation was to protect Prahlad Maharaj, his great devotee, who is also one of the 12 Mahajans. So along with that, you should also uh, uh, read uh, so different sections you can read from um, in any any scripture, you know, you, you can find references in the Ramayana, in the Mahabharata, or you can find in uh, Brahmanda Puran or any other Puran also. Okay, so you can read about Lord Nursing Dev and specifically from Bhagavatam Seventh Canto. Okay? And you can also chant this mantra, uh, Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Should I repeat? Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Okay, and uh, this mantra you should chant for 108 times every day morning. Okay, this is very crucial for you. If you feel that you do not uh, have good Martian traits, then this mantra will really activate your Mars, and this will help you to uh, improve the Martian traits. Okay, so 
and yes whatever remedies i give here uh, if if you have any doubts then you can uh, first consult your personal astrologer okay whoever you go for a professionalized consultation only after that uh, if that astrologer sanctions only then you should do okay because you should not uh, blindly just do any remedy okay but you can always uh, chant this mantra there's no harm in doing this okay now the next thing is this is very crucial this is gross okay this is uh, at a gross level this is you must follow uh, celibacy and austerity and you should follow determination okay so what is celibacy celibacy uh, can have different definitions at different levels it is brahmacharya because mars represents the celibate the brahmachari okay so therefore if you are not married then uh, it is expected that you are a brahmachari so uh, we should uh, limit our interaction with the opposite sex and keep it to the extent to which it is required okay it's like point to point uh, rather than uh, the way it happens these days you know uh, going on uh, recklessly indulging uh, in in any mental or physical level or you know psychological level or psychophysical level also with the opposite sex that is not very good that that will deteriorate our spiritual life and it will make us more and more animalistic okay and if somebody is married then that person should uh, faithfully stay with one spouse okay either man or woman uh, doesn't matter it's same for both the genders okay so therefore uh, for for a married person uh, that that would be the definition of celibacy that he is uh, he or she is uh, procreating to have children and only with one person okay and either you are married or you are unmarried or whatever you whichever ashram you are either you are in a grihastha ashram or a brahmachari ashram or you are in a vanaprastha or, or you are a sanyasi uh, you have to understand that sexual energy is very sacred that is the same energy which if diverted upwards uh, goes to the brain and it gives you effulgence it gives you clarity it gives you uh, spiritual awakening okay so there's this uh, nonsensical idea these days you know that sexual energy is spiritual energy well it becomes spiritual energy when you preserve it and it goes upwards it is known as urdhvaretas okay so if you are just wasting your sexual energy you know you are uh, watching adult material in the internet or you are reading sensual literatures or you are indulging too much uh, with op with the opposite sex then it is not possible that you can follow celibacy okay so then you will lose martian traits and then you will have no determination you will have no self control no self confidence uh, no power to do anything in life you will just be sitting like a a buffalo in the gutter sometimes have you seen people they're just lying down in the couches and having no energy they're just like doing nothing basically they're just wasting their life okay so that happens because they are not able to uh, control their sexual urges okay so therefore uh, celibacy is very 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 crucial and <clears throat> it is one of the very big austerities and apart from this also you should do a lot of austerities whenever possible you know like uh, walking barefoot when you go to the holy places it's a big austerity actually and eating only that which is required and uh, okay i will come to food later on and you should have determination in life okay so this is a part of the second remedy which means determination means i will do what i want to do irrespective of what others tell me okay and that should be uh, in accordance with the scriptures because many times in kali yuga these days people do some uh, some crazy stuff and they say oh i have a lot of determination you know i i i always do what i want well uh, if you are headlessly doing things what you want if that is not sanctioned by the authority of the scriptures then you will end up yourself in trouble right so being determined doesn't mean uh, do what your mind says being determined means that what you want to do and that is sanctioned by the scriptures and by your guru especially uh that you do without fail so suppose if you are doing some mantras which your guru has recommended which is authorized by the scriptures and then suppose your friend is pulling you that oh why are you doing all these mantras you know you should not do you should do what you uh, you should you know come to party in late night okay so therefore uh, that then not saying no to that person and sticking to your goal that is called determination okay 
So therefore, uh, we should uh, develop those activities or especially getting up early in the morning you know, and uh, taking a cold water bath. These are under austerity, tapasya as they say. Huh? So fasting, you know, vrat and all these, these all come under austerity. So the more you do austerities, the more you will empower your Mars and the more Mars will help you to become a better human being. Okay. Number three. This is big actually, abstaining from meat and any sorts of violence, okay? And you should always have a mindset to protect others. So, uh, the scriptures uh, are very clear regarding this, okay? So, many times people think that uh, the scriptures give a diplomatic answer when it comes to meat. No, 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 no. No scripture does that. Meat eating is not allowed because uh, animals, they are also having soul and uh, they... They are like children of God, like we are. So uh, if a father has two children and one child goes and says, you know, oh, my dear Papa, can I just go and uh, slit the throat of this other brother or sister? Then the father won't like, right? So <clears throat> therefore, um, if you are participating in any kind of uh, violence when it comes to meat or, and, and, or fish and eggs these days, especially for Westerners, that has to be included, meat, fish and eggs, okay? Because eggs contain life and there's some now new kind of eggs which have come out, uh, which they say don't have life, but actually they are also extracted uh, out of uh, some unnatural means and it's not very good actually. So complete abstinence from meat, fish and eggs, okay? Because the scriptures say that you have not given life to somebody, so you do not have a right to take life, okay? God has the right to take somebody's life because he has given life. One who can give life can also take life. But we have not given life to anybody. Now somebody may say, oh, uh, then I can uh, abort my children, you know, because I have given birth to this children. No, you have not given birth. You are just a medium. You are just a nimitta. Okay, so any form of killing, it is either aborting a child or you are it killing animals. It has very severe karmic consequences. Okay, and you will face karma either in this life or in the next okay similar violence will happen with you so instead of creating violence towards others and this also includes subtle violence okay subtle violence means uh, insulting somebody or you know punishing beating somebody or physically abusing somebody or anything it can be you know trying to pull others down envy jealousy and all this also so you should abstain from doing all this because then karma will backfire and it will hit you hard. <laughs> and my guru used to say, karma always hits, comes back with installment, compound interest. Okay, so uh, if you hurt somebody, then that person will cry and suffer, and then uh, then you will suffer much more than what that person suffered. Okay, so uh, therefore uh, don't play around with fire. Mars is also fire. All, all right, so. Mars represents that pleasure which you get when you punish somebody, when you defeat somebody, okay? So you should give up unnecessary arguments with people, especially in social media I have seen, okay? Therefore, I always follow this. If, if, if I get some comment where people are just insulting or criticizing me or, uh, you know, blaspheming my, me, my family or anything that I stand for, and I just don't argue or I just don't debate with them. I don't waste my valuable energy uh, against these people because uh, those who are insulting or criticizing you, they, they will always be like this. Remember, they will, uh, they will, there will never be a time when they will appreciate you unless uh, they align with your views, okay? So for example, now I'm uh, speaking about meat here. So many people will disagree. They will write in the comments, but I'm not going to reply because I know what I'm doing is from what I've heard from my gurus and from what the scriptures say, okay? So therefore, uh, we should not only stop creating violence, we should also protect others. So if we see that, that there is some violence which is going on, we should speak up and we should try to protect that person, okay? Who is the victim actually, okay? From the oppressor or the aggressor, right? So this will really help to improve our Mars. Then, being committed to what you said, this is number four, because Mars is the soldier. So soldier means one said, said. So the king or the commander in chief says, go and do this. And then he says, yes, sir. That's it, done. <laughs> so 
even if you die so there's a proverb you know uh, not pro- this this is there in the ramayana as they say na raghugul reet sada chali aaye pran jaye par vachan na jaye so this means that uh, whatever you uh, even if you die you should still follow your word okay unless you have given a word which is illegitimate or which the scriptures don't sanction okay unless you have given a wrong word you should always uh, follow whatever you said so suppose you said you give a word to somebody that okay i have taken your money for now i will give you my money i will give you your money back within 3 months or 6 months then please do it follow what you said okay or at least try your best to whatever extent you can you may not be able to do 100% and when you cannot then you should please always beg forgiveness you should ask for uh, forgiveness and request uh, more time or more resources if you cannot but that is the worst case scenario you should always stick to what you said okay so integrity accountability should be there do what you said and say what you do okay so that harmony should be there then mars becomes very strong then we will see the power of mars actually okay then number 5 this is big actually this is a very big challenge in kali yuga number 5 this is very much external but it's still a big challenge this is obeying the authority of god or the government or your guru or law in general law of your country okay so many times i see uh, people they know that there is a law that uh, when it's red light you should stop but then they don't stop they break the law so whenever you break the law the soldier will always punish you the police will punish you okay so therefore please do not break law <laughs> yes it's very difficult i know uh, but yes this is how we improve our mars because the mo- see breaking a law is what basically it's defying authority of the government right or the king okay now this does not mean that you have to just keep saying yes to everything which the government says uh, that's not the point you can disagree with the government you can debate you can have discussions there's nothing wrong in that okay because Uh, in kali yuga most of the leaders are cheaters basically whichever political party they are so uh, even in india uh, there's this bjp versus congress okay both the parties are same there's no difference actually <laughs> so you will see uh, people from both the parties uh, they will criticize each other okay but or nowadays maybe the left is also there or even their numbers have gone down but there are many people who follow them you know the communist party and also uh these parties the the followers of these parties they will keep debating each other with, uh, with each other like dogs you know uh, like dogs are barking all the time you know they will also keep barking in social media or you know in different places so that doesn't work you see because every party has an agenda they want to exploit you because kali yuga means leaders want to exploit you that is there in the shrimad bhagavatam okay but suppose the government has made a law that for example you know like currently there's this lockdown going on so like uh, in some parts of india there's this rule law that uh, you know from morning till night this time to this time you cannot go there is curfew so at least these kind of laws we can follow okay at least we can uh, abide by the basic rules which the uh, constitution of that country has set forth or the leaders have set forth because Uh, every time if you just keep criticizing also it will uh, have no result or effect because most of the leaders they they are criminals these days okay so that's how kali yuga is and this will only get worse unless you partake to spirituality and elect a person who is elevated in his or her spiritual consciousness so till that time uh, human beings are electing such leaders who are uh thirsty after your money or your resources then they have to pay the price sorry to say that i am also part of that <laughs> okay so and then also we should uh, accept the word of the gurus okay so whatever our guru says if that is in provided that is in line with the scriptures okay we should obey the guru so if the guru has given us an instruction that we should do this every day then we must do it okay so this was the fifth then number 6 is we should have a good relationship with our uh, brothers elder or younger because they represent uh, mars represents brothers or with our male friends or with the army personnel or police or any kind of paramilitary forces or anybody who is 
protecting somebody actually okay and mars also represents the surgeons okay within doctors so we should always be respectful to them also because they are uh, always uh, helping people to live longer okay or at least they are ideally supposed to <laughs> okay the number seven is we should utilize our passion in the right place instead of getting angry you know? because mars uh, mars at a lower sense you know in a tamasic sense also represents anger okay uh, so therefore uh, we should always keep ourselves utilized by you know uh, playing sports or by doing yoga or you know asanas pranayam or you know having a vision for our life being busy with the right activities okay and not just wasting time doing nothing sitting in the couch and watching tv all the time you know so that's not recommended that's that spoils your mars actually okay so utilize your passion become more creative and by that you will see mars has become very strong in your horoscope okay number eight is we should do the right justice and not punish people more than what they deserve this is very crucial because mars represents punishment so if we are punishing somebody more than what they deserve then we spoil our mars because then uh, mars will also punish us because punishing somebody more than what they deserve is that person also deserves punishment okay so therefore um, before you punish somebody make sure you are always taking proper guidance from your guru okay because many times our mind is whimsical our mind just thinks that everybody else is at fault only we are good we are correct we are right every other human being in this universe is at fault okay i am the only person who is right everybody else is wrong that's the nature of a whimsical uh, degraded materialistic mind which is filled with rajas and tamas you know blame game he did this she did this i am like this he's like that he was like that oh. <laughs> So therefore, before you punish somebody, make sure you are doing right justice. So suppose you have a fight with somebody and uh, you can of course go to uh, the court and you can approach the police. Nothing wrong with that. There's no nothing wrong with justice. But uh, suppose you say, oh, I don't like this person. I'll go and punch him in his face. <laughs> so that is like uh, you're trying to take the law in your own hand. Okay. So therefore, or suppose a friend uh, has has done something wrong with you, and now you don't want to keep your friendship, and that but that person still wants to be with you, or be your friend. So now you have decided to punish the person by not being being his or her friend. So therefore, before you take some drastic step like this, okay, it it can be emotional also. You know, you uh, some you loved somebody, and that person didn't love you back. So now you decide to punish that person by being unavailable emotionally. Okay, so it can mean from all sides or trying to pull others down you know by intellectually punishing somebody by showing somebody that you know they are their knowledge is inferior to yours okay so that 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 is not good then your mars will be spoiled all right so therefore uh, do justice with people and with yourself but don't do not punish people more than they deserve okay then number nine the last one is we can fast on tuesdays because it is uh, mangalvar and we can wear red as i am uh, wearing it's not exactly but almost <laughs> and then uh, we can do yagyas also sitting around fire and that also strengthens our mars okay so there you go now uh, you can watch the other remedies videos here i'll put it here okay and if you are interested to know more about the Manglik series, that also I will put it here in the playlist. Okay. And there you go. As usual, if you like this video, click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested to improve their Mars. And if you want a consultation from me, then please go to my website down in the description section. Okay. And if you are new, then please subscribe to the channel here. Okay. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him.